for you and your team to start collaborating on an online Kanban board, you'll need a shared Kanban tool account. All accounts start with a free trial, letting you and the team see what the platform offers before you buy it. Visit our homepage, kanbantool.com, and use the Express Account Creation box. Give the account a name. Usually, it's the company or your department name. It's best to avoid using your first and last names here. The account name will become a part of your custom website address, your Kanban Tools subdomain. Then, enter your email address to allow for a secure login. And click the Start the Free Trial button. Now, you're asked to set up a password for your personal user and to accept the terms. You can invite the team to join you right away, or you can do that at a later stage. You've now set up your Kanban Tool account, a dashboard from which you can create various projects and share them with the team. Because you created the account, you are its owner, able to add and remove future users and see all boards that get created here by you or your colleagues. For projects, you can start with a welcome board, which role is to show you how Kanban Tool works. Or you can go ahead and create your own board, matched to your specific needs. There are a few layouts to choose from, but please note that you can further customize all boards at any stage. Now that you have a project board, let's share it with your team. We'll take the simplest route and hit the share button at the top right corner. Here, you can add your teammates' names and email addresses. Once invited, they will receive an email asking them to join your account and view this specific board. Remember when I said you are the account owner? The people you invite to join you are not. They can only see the one project board you shared with them. By default, they cannot create new boards nor see any other projects in the account. It allows companies to limit information access across all their projects. For example, each department can have a different board, and every department's members may be limited to only see that specific project. However, if you want the team members to be able to start their own projects, you're welcome to increase their access rights. The supported elevated user privileges are the following. An account owner, who can see all resources and do anything within the account. An account admin, who also can see all resources and do almost anything, except for managing subscription payments and cancelling the account. And lastly, a project manager, who can start new projects but will only see their own boards or those that others have shared with them. You can now move on to updating your tasks on the boards and enjoying a simple way of collaborating in real time. You can create as many boards as you like and share them with any number of coworkers unless you choose the limited free plan. All the boards accessible to you will be listed in the board navigator here on the side and in the dashboard. As the account owner, you have control over the account service plan, who the users are and which boards are visible to whom. Adding new users and suspending old ones is always possible, and changing the plan from one month to another is also not a problem. The selected service plan applies to all account users. To learn more about Kanban Toolboard features and various power-ups, or to see some of the most common use case scenarios, please view the videos recommended on screen. Feel free to test the service without any obligations at kanbantool.com.